Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon from Australia. It's old indie kid, Danny here. And uh, uh, I thought I was Danny. <laughs> no, no, there's some confusion there. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I must be Michael then, um, the uh, Rebirth of Paul kid. So um, it went down so well, our video, that we've decided to continue the, the nine others in this box set, bin set thing. Um, and today we're going to go from uh, number 90 down to 81. Um, so uh, without any further ado, let's hit it with number 90, which is Lucy Gaffney with Can't Escape. Can't hear it. Ah, that's him. Oh, um, so Lucy's great, I think is the best way to say this. I'm a bit, I haven't woke up yet but at the minute. Um, I, I love her voice. I think her voice is amazing. Um, so I first heard her when she did that Stone Roses cover. Um, yeah, she did a lot of good uh, lockdown covers, DMAs and uh, yeah, the Stone Roses yeah. and Oasis. Yeah. yeah. I think they're still on YouTube, oh. but they, they've disappeared off Spotify. OK. Oh, all right. But yeah, she's released a couple of songs, isn't she, this year? And, and, and this is this is one of the best, I think. And, and listening back to it, I was kind of thinking maybe this, I should have like pushed my score in a bit higher because actually it's a, it's a really good song. Um, and, and she's got a great voice and, you know, she, she's going to be big yeah i reckon yeah. so um, one to watch what about yourself yeah. there anything um, else well, yeah the song the song title i was wondering whether cause it's called can't escape whether that was written in the time of the lockdown or was that just something that i projected my impersonation onto it because of the time it was released not sure about that well, one. Maybe she can explain. yeah yeah we'll ask Lucy. in the comments see below yeah yeah lucy can you tell us what the inspiration behind the song yeah cool thanks all right all right then um so that, that was 90 so uh number 89 is dylan john thomas with lost without and it sounds a bit like this Got your fans. <laughs> um, okay. Do you want to go? Shall I go first? Oh yeah. Do you want to go? First? You go first. I was just been told um, to keep the noise down by my wife, who's doing something in the next room. <laughs> really? Does she not know what's going on? <laughs> this is a recording this studio. This is live. Oh no. You go first. You go first. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be told to turn it down in a minute. Uh, well, Dylan John Thomas, uh, that's a catchy number, that's for sure. Um, so it kind of reminds me of the kind of stuff that's coming through since Jerry Cinnamon kind of got a bit popular, really. Um, is that kind of singer songwriter folky kind of jaunty stuff, which actually this is pretty damn good. Um, so I haven't really got much more to say. I played it quite a bit recently, I actually got quite into it. I, I might. Definitely be checking out what else he's got to listen to. Yeah, yeah well, I think there's there's three songs out there. I think a couple that came out the previous year, and they're all really good. Um, some finger picking madness on that song, and a very catchy chorus. Finger picking madness. Let's get that. You have got all the statements. You're going to get that on a t-shirt. You got your <laughs> finger picking madness. Finger picking go. madness. Yeah. Uh, as normal, yeah, that's 25% commission to Danny. I'm going to bring the speakers closer now. Right. <laughs> Fine, let's, let's hit it with, a, with, with, a, with the next track then. Um, and for all you fans out there that you've been waiting to find out where this is, it's Moonlight Parade and Hang Glider. Yeah. Oh. So, 
um, sorry. That's a, a song about a, a sad middle-aged man with an obsessive hobby. So I'm not sure why it appeals to us. Don't know what that is then. I'll let you know when I get there. Yeah. yeah. Good. Um, from the excellent Paint the Sun EP. Um, I, I mean, it's been tearing up wherever anyone has heard it. I think um, it's just every track on it's amazing. But, you know, could this be the highest place one? Who knows? We'll have to tune in, won't you? And uh, I think I heard the Moonlight Parade say they were thinking of dropping it from their live sets. But, uh, Really? I'm not sure how many sets they've done live this year, but yeah, it's time to bring it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we say bring it back. So, uh, but yeah, <clears throat> a really great band. Uh, I think most people have found this year that tune into this show and tweet and whatever. And there's something special about them. I think, personally speaking, um, they got some really good stuff and their artwork and the vinyl and everything about them is just cool. And um, yeah, I wish them the best for next year. So well. Uh, that was Moonlight Parade. So uh, moving on then to, so where are we now? Eight, oh, 87. 87. 87 is uh, one, one of my favourites, definitely, uh, as a musician um, and a singer. And it's uh, Michael Forsyth and uh, See the Light. That's very nice. Um, <clears throat> so I really like Michael. It's no secret about that. Um, I'm always tweeting about him, talking about him, trying to get as many people to listen to him. Uh, I love his support network of his family. They're all basically shouting out for him, especially his dad and one of his many sisters, Kimberly. Um, and rightly so. Um, he's got a great voice as far as I'm concerned, pretty much, very much Richard Ashcroft. But there's other, other things going on there. He's a great songwriter, great singer, and you know, 20 odd years ago, it'd be in the charts, wouldn't it? As far as I'm concerned, you know, it's that kind of thing that, that, that you know would appeal to the masses. So keep going, mate. Love it. Yeah, I like it too, but I've got nothing else to say. You said it all. <laughs> he does like it. He honestly, he does, because otherwise it wouldn't be in the top hundred. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so. Right. Um, that was 87? 86. And then we got, yeah. Um, so who have we got next then? It's a numbering system, yeah. Uh, the next one is a little guy called uh, Joe Astley. He's got great quiff, better than mine. The mine's just sticking up because it's hot it's and sweaty. a bit early for me, but I'm, yeah. oh, I'm going to go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this song is called Planet Ninety Nine. So yeah, I think some people said they they did enjoy us dancing. We can't. We're not dancing too much to these songs. We're all a bit downbeat, I think, this week. Yeah, it's it's an interesting top of ten songs. This this one, um, they are a bit, aren't they? But you know, light and shade, people, light and shade. Yeah. So one of the questions, this song, it's it seems to be a, a sad song about an empty world, maybe post-apocalyptic. There's no life. Uh, where have people gone? That's what I need to know. So I will be asking this of Joe later. What's the, what's, what's the story behind this one? Yeah, and I'll be checking to see how many people watch this and, I'm, and asking the same question. Where have people gone? <laughs> um, you know, so uh, just, just, just in case, because, you know, yeah. we need to know. You wanted this, people. You told me you wanted this. And me and Danny are doing this for your benefit, not for ours. 
no, not for us. No. It's a pain for us. We, we've we already got the list. We know what it is. Yeah. So, you know, keep that in mind. Um, yeah. I, I, I think Joe's put out some, you know, pretty decent songs this year. Who, you know. <laughs> he's he's clearly a very talented lad, and uh, you know he he's he's a bit of a package. Uh, he's got, as you said, you know, he's a heart for waiting to be on the walls of of middle aged grown men all over the country. <laughs> Next, yes, um, yeah, he's also got a new single out on January the first with his Wallgate band. It's a ten piece band. I believe uh, some people have had the luxury of hearing it. So, uh, ah. mm, if not me, obviously. But, no, well, I mean, you know. No, you but that's, he's trying to get that one in the charts. So keep an eye out for that. I'm sure it'll be. Uh, yeah, it'll definitely. Be I, I, on Twitter at the time. Yeah, there's there's some big things I think ahead for Joe. He, is, he needs to keep going and uh, you know keep that quiff going. It's 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 the future. I've heard. <laughs> Right, let's let's rock it up a bit then, shall we? With the next yes. song, which uh, is the Ratons, if I'm saying that right or not, with how I feel right now, headache. Yeah, that's the ratings, and uh, the song was "Headache." So yeah, it's uh, they're the kids off the estate, uh, and what have I said up here? Yeah, yeah, it's just a song about uh, going out for a few beers and getting phoned up by your other half, being told, "What the hell are you doing? Come back home." Oh, I dream of those days. <laughs> hey. Yeah, going out. Wow. Um, yeah, it's 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 a one of them good get yourself going, go out, have a good time, bands, um, tunes. Great stuff. Well done, lads. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. a real rocker. And also uh, check out their Red Smoke, their latest single, which is a real headband. Oh yeah. No, I, uh, yes, I forgot that. That is good. Yeah, I mean, not saying this isn't, I mean, this, but yeah, that's just a bit too late for this top 100, really, isn't it? Yeah, we we we, we, we missed it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, well done for this one. <laughs> right. So that was 85? 85, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Um, so then we're up to... Eight, number four. 84 and uh th this this is uh reba um one of the people that i interviewed for my blog after hearing this song um on the uh the dp happy hour and uh, i really got into it and it's called a secret i'll never tell because i don't want to leave <clears throat> so tell me that you Thank you, Danny, for that. That's got the blood pump in. Yeah. Um, so that's Reba, and um, I hear about four songs in this, so it's a bit Twin Peaks kind of mood and a bit Long Train Running, um, and then it kind of goes into that Groove Rider song that that person sung, Ellis, whatever her name, Sophie Ellis Baxter um, mm -hmm. as well, um, with... Uh, a bit of Lily Allen as well over it, so it's kind of like Definitely. pulls it all in, mix it all up in a pop package for us to enjoy. And boy, I do enjoy it. When I want to have a little boogie, and I'll, I'll put it on and uh, strut my funky chicken. <laughs> right, moving on. 
nothing further to say. The defense rests. Well done, Reba. Keep it going. Right. So that was 84. So where are we now? 80, 83. 83. 83. Ah, oh, this is a good one. This is me this morning. Go for it. Um, so, sorry, I'll introduce it. <laughs> no. So that was the Mariners, for those that don't know, um, and can't get out of bed, which again is uh, very apt for lots of people, me included. Um, so yeah, it's uh, off their debut album, and uh, certainly one of the bands of the year for me. Oh, look at that! Yeah, Short there we go. It's uh, the Tides of Time, fantastic album. It really is. Um, you know, it, it's it's Brings in all the kind of 60s groovy feels mixed with the kind of 90s pop sensibilities. Um, they're great lads, good to chat to, some really good product. I like their videos, I like their look. Look at this. Look at, yeah, and I like that. it. Even this, this, look at this for a CD. Fantastic. Detail. That is detail. That, that makes a difference. <laughs> and it's so a great song. I'm hoping, I've ordered the. Uh, the vinyl. I'm hoping it looks like a giant CD. <laughs> well, I'll wait and see. What What did you think of that song? Have you got? Oh, I, love, oh, I love it. It's just catchy. It's '60s pop. It's uh, it's very good. Yeah, it's it it, they're a band band on the up, and they've got a new album coming out next year. Uh, and Can't a new wait. single next. Ooh, maybe in a week's time or so. Yeah. New single comes out. Yeah. So, um, um, yeah. Another thing I like about them is they always put B sides on their singles when they release them, which not many bands do these days. They like to put out a little A side, one or two B sides. Very good. Very good. They got it. They got, yeah. And they got good t shirts as well, which I didn't put on today, but I might wear one if they're in the chart later. Yeah. yeah. I might wear one if it arrives in the post later. All my stuff's in the post between England and the UK and Australia. Oh. I don't know where it is. Yeah. <laughs> Takes about two weeks, two months to get to get here. So I'll, wow. I'll wear it if I get it. That's fine. It'll be all right. It's probably coming by boat. They're probably doing it themselves. Yeah. <laughs> On the Marinus boat. Yeah. Right. Cool. Um, we? Right. We're almost through this. We've so two, uh, two to go. So now we're on to 81, and um, this is Serious Kids. It's Joker Man by Ian Skelly. Danny. All right. Well, this, this is Ian Skelly. He's the drummer of the Coral, and uh, is he? I think this is it. yeah, he's the drummer of the Coral. Wow. There you go. He's had, he's had, a, he's had a, a solo album out before, I think, many years ago. But this is the first one for a long time. I think he finished it during the lockdown. Uh, and uh, I love this song. It's got like, a bit of country and western slide guitar on it, which. I'm a real sucker for that. That or sleigh bells. It's got sleigh bells or slide guitars. I'm in. Yeah. Is it a Christmas song? Huh? Yeah. No, but this one doesn't. But any every time those marketing execs, they just make sleigh bells and yeah, I'll buy a copy. Yeah. Ah, clever. I've got so many crap Christmas records. It's unbelievable. I love them. Get them out. <laughs> let's play them now. Let's, let's do a top hundred Christmas song countdown. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Number 100, mistletoe and wine. Here we go. Oof. Oof. You're teasing me now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Gotta be shaky. Right. Maybe another not another. We need like someone that. to do a Shaking Stevens Christmas cover, don't we? No, that would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Any any bands threatening to do that? I don't know. Yeah. Well, if you are, we'll take ten percent of the. Uh, or was it twenty five? Twenty five percent for the idea. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Um, sorry, back to Ian Skelly. So. Um, yeah, it's really good, and it's ridiculous how talented the Coral guys are. Obviously, you've got Paul Malloy had a, an album out as well this year, and some great singles. He, uh, Joker Man is, is a really good track, and you know it, I, I played it during the summer when it came out, and it was like, yeah, this is this is really cool, man. So um, yeah, well done, Mr. Skelly. Keep it up. Okay, we're on to the final one of today's episode. Which yeah. is number uh, 81. 81. What have we got is, here? Uh, Laurie Wright, and the song is called Lockdown. Lockdown. Very it's a real punk rocker. Ready. Wow, you probably couldn't find a, a better titled song of the year, really. Um, yeah. So, did he write it before and just happened to fall upon it? Or <laughs> it was just a coincidence, yeah. He, he could see into the future. And uh, saw where it is. Um, so, yeah, I, I'd never heard of him until I heard saw this saw this song, heard this song, and um, yeah, I really got into it. He's very punk rock, isn't he? Um, yeah. He's got a, a great kind of punk voice, and um, yeah, yeah. It's a angry snarl, young man. snarl that sort of uh, rivals Joe Strummer's and sort of yeah, uh, really, really throaty and yeah, angry. <clears throat> you can just sense yeah. the anger on the song, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. having a real, real go at the incompetence of governments and conspiracy nutters and panic shoppers and every everyone that you, annoys you has annoyed him, and they annoyed him pretty early on as well because this is this came out in May, I think. So, wow, he's got a low tolerance threshold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he gets angry quick. He's obviously yeah. very young, or very perhaps he's very old. But who knows? But um, yeah, it, it, it's really good, and I'm definitely going to be checking out more of his stuff. And again, and I bet he, if you ever see him live, he's probably tearing it up. And people are doing what they do in the in with those punk type bands. Oh, they pogo. Is is that what it's pogo? Oh, very I good. So. I can't do that. I've got a bad back. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not using my legs. I'm... Is that, is that a disability chair you're pushing yourself up from? Or... <laughs> nice T-shirt, by the way. Thank you. Who, who are you promoting today? The Crimson Bloom I am sponsored by today. Yep. Ah, that's a good song, that. I wonder if that's in the top 100. Yeah, connected. Mm. Mm. Very I good. Like it. It makes me look, I think it looks like a, a Terminator with the chest open. Or C3PO without his mask on. Yeah, or maybe just my uh, bottom drawer of uh, loads of wires in the it's, garage, anyway. It is a man drawer picture, isn't it, Sure. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, cool. Right, well, that was your, 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 your countdown from uh, 90 to 81. Um, some great songs in there. So, um, obviously, I'll be editing this together to make it look polished and brilliant, as I did the first one. Um, and then shall be releasing it imminently on the, the uh, YouTube site. Um, we'll let that go out. You lot can all fight over where you think your band is. Um, and given that some time, we'll uh, update the list and uh, tweet that around as well. Yeah. And uh, Some of you have found the playlist already. We'll uh, tweet that out. You can follow that. We'll be updating it. Yeah. So, so far, I've got 20 great tracks. I mean, that is just great. So, uh, there you go. Right, no further ado, because some of us got to go to work, some of us got to do other things that aren't work-related. Specified, yep. And um, thanks again, Danny. Cheers, Mike. And we'll, we'll uh, meet again. Someday soon.
Bye. Bye.